end this after discussion of planes with the 111 plane in FCC. So let's go ahead and draw this plane. Should have drawn my sphere first. Anyways, right here, 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 and then along the faces. I want the front. So 100 is going to be true this support line. It's going to go through here, here, and along this diagonal, along this as well. So if we project that plane, this is going to look like this. We're going to have atoms at the corner and have the faces. So when we draw the kind of neighboring cells, you're going to see kind of a new distinct kind of structure emerge. So we're going to see here, here. So how many atoms, let's focus on here, how many planes uh, are kind of neighboring here? One, two, three, four. Five, six. You have this hexagonal type symmetry. So we have three atoms that are sixth. And then what about these? This, for example, one and two. Plus, you have one, two, three that are a half. So how many atoms is that when we're calculating our planar density? So three times a six is a half plus three and a half, which is going to be equal to two. So two atoms. This pi r squared. Then now, what is the area of a triangle? Well, let's go ahead and look back <laughs> uh, at our, hopefully, we look back at kind of some of our, our old uh, our old geometry. So it is going to be, uh, if we look uh, for an equilateral triangle, which this is, it is going to be square root of 3 over 4 times this distance x squared. Where here, this distance x is going to be our, here, this distance x, is going to be what? What is this distance? Well, that's just 4r. So x here, x equals 4r. So let's go ahead and calculate that out. So I have 2 times pi times r squared times, or divided by, square, square root, square root of 3, divided by 4, look at that times x squared, or basically times x squared, or slash dot x goes to 4r. So let's look at that. Let's figure out this. And what do you know? 0.9069, right on the money. So we know that the 111 plane is our close packed plane. So this is, uh, again, Close vectoring structures are the, you know, but we often are really concerned about that diffusion defects. So uh, this, this is a key point here. Uh, and actually, I want to kind of spend a little bit of time on this. So only a uh, close packed structure can have a close packed plane. And that's key. But any structure... can have close-packed direction. So we saw the close-packed direction of the other planes, but only a close-packed structure can have a close-packed plane. But again, as we mentioned in the last video, um, we're going to be looking at the closest packed plane in a crystal. So that's different for BCC and FCC. So that's kind of the key aspect that we want to kind of think about uh, moving forward uh, as we kind of talk about structure. All right. So next time, we are going to get into a little bit of polymorphism, allotropy, and then... Uh, the structure of non-crystal materials, and we're going to get into pair distribution functions, PDFs and RDFs. So uh, look forward to kind of that discussion. Uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, and then with that, that's pretty much all that's going to be covered on your problem set. There's a nice discussion here about um, silica gra glass, glass structures, and the boron anomaly, uh, and also liquid crystals as well. I'll be happy to kind of do additional videos on this. Um, however, this is not really going to be covered in this course, so I don't want to overwhelm uh, you all too much, <laughs> but just for your kind of future reference. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll be happy to make a video on that as well. So I'll see you next time when we get into pair distribution functions and allotropy. So again, the key thing here, to have a true close back plane, we need to be close back structure. But any structure can have close back directions. And finally, most importantly, we are going to also be concerned a lot when we talk about diffusion, defects, mechanics, about close is packed planes. It doesn't have to be that magic number. They're also going to be very important as well. All right.
I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.